hope you can hear anything behind. That's a very needy puppy being sad that I'm giving the camera attention and not him. Okay, so recently I celebrated my third year living in China. If you've watched my other videos, you may know that it's around about this time of year. It's the 18th, 19th, depending on landing dates or whatever. Uh, not important. What's important is that I've lived in Beijing that whole time. I'm sorry. I have been living in Beijing for three years and I am yet to see some of the most famous historical locations. I more recently have been to a few. I've obviously been to the Great Wall. Uh, I've been to the Forbidden City, Summer Palace. But beyond that, nothing really. And I've wanted to, but with things like COVID getting in the way, um, it hasn't been as easy as I would have liked it to have been. I've neglected all Beijing of its history. But today, we put a bit of a stop to that. We are, and I say we because I mean Carly and I, uh, are going to the Lama Temple. The Lama Temple is Yonghegong, and it's somewhere that I have driven past more times than I can care to even guess and have always been in awe of how beautiful it is. I believe it's the oldest, oldest or biggest temple in Beijing. And I'm excited to go see it today. Yeah, I'm gonna take you along with me for the day because we're going there and then I'm seeing friends later on. So I thought, you know what, I'll make a whole day vlog out of it. Anyway, let's go. I found a late Carly. <laughs> My forehead's sweaty already. I'm not built for summer. Extra white today. Yeah, I washed it. As far as I have seen, they send wishes and prayers. The Yonghe Temple, or more commonly known as the Lama Temple, is one of the largest Tibetan Buddhist monasteries in China. This incredible piece of architecture was built in 1694 for the Emperor's son, who was known as the Young Prince. It was later turned into the Temple for Buddhism. It was opened to the public in 1891 for tourism and worship and receives about 2 million visitors per year. We're finished up in the Lama Temple and we are on, what's the street called, Carl? Wudaoying, Wudaoying Hutong. My head is so sweaty. I'm really not built for these temperatures. It's like, I need better friends. I need good friends. Applications open. Friends that don't make up excuses for not getting their friends water. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. I will go get you the water. Your Majesty, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Train them right. So, just, you just spilt that on me. Keep off my glass of water. <laughs> get off my glass of water. <laughs> Home girl thinks she can rock up with this. <laughs> I bought myself a lemon tea, a lemon iced tea. I love the glasses here. Mm, it's kind of nice. It's refreshing. So the plan is chill here for a little bit, then Carly's gonna go do her class. I'm gonna cry profusely because I've waited for her to leave all day. And then I'm gonna go meet some friends for dinner. Carly's dream house which sells like so many like schoolgirl skirts. Not my thing, but it's cute here. I like the hats. Okay, mini outfit change and chill later. And I am heading to the barbecue restaurant to meet my friends. Um I'm heading to go meet my friends now. I got half I got half changed. I was 
show you my magic. Ready? You see my dog? Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Put it back, it's okay, it's fixed. I fixed it. Oh, I fixed it. Okay, fixed. She really started talking to things. But maybe she doesn't want to like that. <laughs> no, she's not hiding, she's just with Rob. She's just with Rob. Oh, I'll put that in my mouth and then try to put it in yours. I'm on my way home now. I am gonna feed my friend's dog and let you know on a little story time. It has been quite the eventful evening, <laughs> unexpectedly. I have the noisy bicycle. It's not even funny. This boy has endless amounts of energy. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Hello. So, story time. We were going to this place called Paddy's, which you saw there. We get into the car to go to Paddy's, uh, which is the Irish bar we went to. You saw a very small clip of. And Carly goes to grab her 360 GoPro. And she left it in a bike, uh, the, the basket of a bike. And she goes to grab it and it's gone. Now, bearing in mind, this had been like a 30 second wait time between when she had put it in the basket and when we had gone to collect it. So she panics and we immediately think, call the, the bike service. So we were panicking sort of, but this is China. China, if you don't know, is super safe. Like you can go to a cafe, leave your laptop at your seat, on a busy day, come back five, 10 minutes later and it's still gonna be sat there completely untouched. Um, sometimes maybe the bar will take it behind if they think you've left and forgotten it, but if you like you've gone to the bathroom or something, then they are really great at not touching your things. So we, we're looking around and we're like, we don't see anything. So we get in the car and we contact the bike service. So the bike service, the bike service were able to look at the details of who had used the bike, where they'd taken it and when they'd left it. So I'm not sure whether they were able to get in touch with the person, but they were definitely able to track down the bike. So Carly came to the bar with us, but then briefly left because we thought we had a location for the bike, uh, for the bike with the GoPro in. Turns out, as far as I'm aware, they were unable to find it. So they are now currently at the police station. And that's why I came home to see this one because he needed some snacks and some loves. I'm gonna end this video here because it's been quite a um it's been quite an interesting one. It's been a long day. It's been a it's been a really good day actually. I was so happy to finally go to Lama Temple. And it was really great hanging out with my friends. I have cool friends. I'll never admit this to them, but they're alright. Definitely keep up to date with my social media because that's probably where I'm going to update you guys on the situation. Um, I'll link it all down below. Uh, feel free to go over there and check out my, uh, probably my Instagram. That's the only thing I really use. Uh, yeah, it's been a great day, but it's time to, the first time ever he just sits and watches me. If I move this camera, he'll move. Oh, he's chilling out. If I could roughly translate, that would say like and subscribe, all in one bark. Yeah, so like and subscribe because the dog told you to. And hopefully next time I make a video. When I next make a video, I will be doing something super cool. 
Theo said. Yep, so don't forget to like and subscribe for the dog. And hopefully I'll be uploading more often now. I'm actually half considering, I filmed like three or four videos at least in the time that I didn't upload for a long period of time. So I'm considering, half considering uploading those. Um, if it's something you're interested in, definitely let me know, either message me or comment or anything. Just let me know it's something you wanna see. And yeah, I can get those uploaded. I've had a great day and I'll catch you guys later. so innocent the camera. I know you, buddy.